Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce how to position direct and indirect objects in a sentence. In an earlier presentation, I mentioned that, when using both a direct and indirect object in a sentence, the indirect object will come before the direct object if both are nouns. In this sentence, Ich gebe dem Mann das Buch, I give the book to the man, dem Mann is the indirect object and das Buch is the direct object. You will also recall that the indirect object is marked by the dative case and the direct object is marked by the accusative case. But what if I want to replace one of the nouns with a pronoun? What if I want to replace the direct object, das Buch, with the neuter accusative personal pronoun, s? If one of the nouns in the direct indirect object pair is replaced by a pronoun, that pronoun will come first in the pair. For example, ich gebe es dem Mann. I give it to the man. What if I want to replace the other noun with a pronoun? What if I want to replace the indirect object, dem Mann, with the masculine dative personal pronoun, ihm? Regardless of which object comes first, the same rule will still apply. If one of the nouns in the direct indirect object pair is replaced by a pronoun, that pronoun will come first in the pair. For example, ich gebe ihm das Buch. I give the book to him. But what if both nouns in the pair are replaced by pronouns? How will that change the word order? If this is the case, then the direct object must come before the indirect object. Ich gebe es ihm. I give it to him. You will note that this order is the exact opposite of what we saw on the prior slide, when both objects were nouns. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.